Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back to one of classes of Iqra Ufa Second B Schools, our project of Iqra Education System. My dear brothers, in the last video lecture, we discussed the comprehension exercises of chapter number 2, Shah Abdul Latif. Today in this video, we are going to discuss reference to context of the same chapter. As I have already explained you what reference to context is, for your review, I would like to explain it once again. Reference to context means a context is given to you, like the one given here on the board. You have to identify where this context, context has been taken from and you have to answer the given questions, like the ones given here on the board. Number one context is written in front of you on the board. Islam is the religion of peace. God sent the Prophet as a blessing to mankind. He won people's hearts by his kind nature and gentle ways. This is a context given to you. And there are three questions given along with this context. The three questions are, number one, who does he refer to? Number two, name the lesson. And number three, what is the purpose of the lesson? If you remember, I discussed this reference to context in the very first lecture of how to maintain the register and the contents we, we will be going through in cross poetry, grammar and conversation. I told you there that this is an integral part of your board paper and this question in your paper carries six marks, which means each of these three questions carries two marks. Hence, you have to answer these three questions which should justify at least two marks. Let's see how I have answered these questions. For this context, you will copy it in your register as it is. And for context number two after this, you will also copy that in your register as it is. In the end, I will assign you one more context from the book and you have to do that also in your register. So you see here, there are three questions answered on the board. Who does he refer to? In the context, there is a usage of he as a pronoun. We have to answer it in detail that who this he refers to. The answer is in the above given lines, he refers to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. People got inspired by him and followed his footsteps. Question number two, name the lesson. The answer is the above given lines have been taken from a chapter Shah Abdul Latif of our secondary stage English book one. Question number three, what is the purpose of the lesson? The answer is, this lesson is about a famous saint of sin, Shah Abdul Latif. It teaches us about the life of Shah Abdul Latif and his other qualities besides being saints. So you see on the board, every single answer justifies two marks at least. Otherwise, you can also shortly answer these questions. Like the one given here, he refers to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But this answer or one line answer does not justify two marks. So we have to write something in detail. As I told you the technique of answering these questions in reference to context, whatever the answer is, you will keep it in the middle and you will add one information before this and one information after this. This is how you can justify two marks for that particular question. Let's exemplify reference to context number two. Reference to context number two. His heart was soon filled with the love of God. The beauty of nature aroused his feelings strongly. While he was only a boy, he started composing poetry. The questions given with this context are A. Who is this text about? B. What was the name of collection of poetry? C. When was he born and when did he die?
Question number one. Who is this text about? The answer is, this is a text extracted from a chapter of our secondary stage, English book one. This text is about the famous saint of sin, Shah Abdul Latif. Question number two, what was the name of collection of poetry? The answer is, besides being saint, Shah Abdul Latif was also a great poet. After his death, his devotees collected his poetry and this collection came to be known as Shah Jurisado. Question number three, when was he born and when did he die? Shah Abdul Latif was born in 1102 Hijri, accordingly 1691 AD and died in 1165 Hijri, accordingly 1752 AD. So my dear brothers, these are the justifiable answers to all these three questions of reference to context number two. I hope you people have clearly understood how to do reference to context. I have already exemplified you and illustrated you here on the board reference to context number one and reference to context number two. Now you need to do reference to context number three from your English notes and question bank. We have already provided you Ikra English notes and Ikra question bank. There you will find a reference to context in the relevant chapter. It is chapter number two, cross section, Shah Latif. We will inshallah meet again in the next lecture and we will start chapter number three. Till then, take very good care of yourselves, complete your assignments, submit them at the relevant branches. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.